coming. Oh, my good friend Paul. Oh, hello, Leroy. It looks like you're about to leave it. Don't you think it's time? Well, I'll sure miss you. You're telling me. Now, Bronson, is that altogether fair for all we've been to each other? You mean, after all I've been to you? Well, it's all right, Paul. Rub it in. But you could at least come by and say goodbye to a fellow. And lose another ten part of the reminder. All right, Giles. If I'm stuck enough to fall for your questionable game, and I'm not forgetting the twenty, how are you? I'm a good loser for a shake. Now you're talking like a real sport. You got stuff in you, Paul, that makes me like you. You got me all wrong, Paul. I have nothing in the world against you. And you can't say I made you Campbell, can you? No, I can't say that you did, but... Then leave out the cancer and the questions. Come with me to Chicago. It's the greatest place in the world, Fitch. That was gave at this time of the year. Victory. Theater parties every night, cabaret parties after the theater, up and down South Parkway with a slow car. And there you meet teachers and students from everywhere, east, west, north, and south. All gathered there for a good time. Boy, to miss Chicago at this time of the year, it's to miss half your life. So forget everything and come with me to Chicago. Chicago! Nuisance, a darn nuisance. I know. Lucy. Yes. Confound it. I told you I wanted the cottage your head. Take it away. Oh, I'm so sorry, Miss Donna. I didn't. And the toast is burnt to a crisp. All the tea was cold as ice. I see what's wrong with you, Miss Donna. It's that you don't want no breakfast. This Sam's putting me on regular at the Red Lily next week. Oh, yeah? Yeah. And I can buy that new suit and those silk shirts, baby. You sure can. Uh, speaking of Big Sam, why don't you try to make him? And I can buy a car. You and who else? Girls, girls. You. Wait a minute. Oh, come on, baby. Give pop to a little kiss, please. Never again. Oh, baby, I thought you agreed to forget what I done done to you. Forget? But it's hurting like the devil. Say, when I think about you deliberately putting your big fist in my face, I'll never forget. Sometimes I feel like killing you. Will you girls please? Oh, listen, baby, come on now. Please cut it out, will you? Oh, me, why do you girls do that? I'm nice to both of you. Just please cut it out. Now, come on, will you, honey? Oh, oh, oh. Now, honey, you have got to forgive me. I promise I won't never, no, never hit you again. Cross my heart. Now, will you believe me? Excuse me, Mr. Brown. You was on the telephone. Black spasm. I'll see you dead in his head someday. Come you. Yes? Sam, you better get over here immediately. Because these guys are fighting like cats. If it's drinking and raising pain all the morning, you better get over here quick before they have to kill it. Yes? Or which one is it? Come in the knees. They're fighting over cattle. They're chasing each other. One got a razor, another got a pistol. All right, Mom. Now you keep my paw until I get there. I'll be right over. Dog's going it. I don't know what's worse, bad liquor or reaper. Yes, no, and I'm too. Cell phone for you, Miss Dan. Yeah. 
It's Miss Edith. She wants to talk to you. Uh, then I'll talk to her. You don't have to get up here. Uh, never mind, honey. <laughs> That's all right. I'll ask her. You know, I've been expecting a call from Edith all over the morning. Some woman's foolishness you really wouldn't do. Did you find my news for me, honey? I don't want to keep her waiting. Sure, honey. Sure, sure. And uh, in the meantime, you better get over there at 4312 and stop that fight before you have a murder on your hands. All right, honey. Now, if you find that you need anything, just call me at the barber shop. I'll be there in 30 minutes. All right, Sammy, you run along now and be a good boy. It's Mr. Giles. What? He wants to talk to you. Hello. Hello yourself, stranger. I thought you were never going to get there. How's my baby? Hi. What be I thought you weren't coming to the last of the week. Why, it's only Tuesday. I know, but I got to thinking about you and couldn't stay away any longer. And no, I'm not kidding. How's every little thing? Oh, not so good. I got a black eye. What? Again? Yeah, that old buzzer gave it to me. I wish I could happen along some of these times and get them beating you. I'd give him more than a black eye. <laughs> would you, darling? You know I would. Uh, by the way, darling, I've got to see you. How soon? You tell me you're my darling next time he starts beating you. <laughs> yes, you. Yes. Uh, well, baby, uh, I've got to see you. How soon? Oh, I don't know. I look so bad. Oh, you look all right as far as I'm concerned. I love you just the same. Uh, now, what time shall it be? Say, uh, 1 o'clock? Mm, you better make it one thirty, darling. Okay, for one thirty. Uh, where? Here? Well, yes, but we've got to be awful careful. You know, Sam is so jealous. Oh, I understand, dearie. And, uh, oh, by the way, Dad. Uh, yes, Leon? Uh, would you bring me something when you come? You see, uh, I'm a little short on, uh, bucks. Uh, you understand. Well, I'll see what I can do, Leroy. Uh, that's a sweet kid. I'll wait right here for you, dearie. Swell gal, Dinah. She was a hot mama, and she sure was funny. <laughs> it's, uh, uh, I've got to wait here for an important telephone call. So you go with and take good care of our pal, Sharky. Uh, see that he gets the best bob in the shop. Uh, Ned Wales is a man. I sure will. Seriously. Well, so long. Good morning, gentlemen. Oh, my, but this show looks nice. Shall I go in for breakfast? No, it's a bit too early. We'll eat when we get back. Oh. Mrs. Moss. Uh, meet Mr. Bronson. Oh, yes. Uh, Miss Moss is our landlady. She's a splendid cook. Mm. Fine. I hope you make good biscuits. Have a dozen ready for me when we come back. Plenty of butter to go with them, too. Oh! Sure, sure. But in the meantime, what about the numbers? That you only leave play with me. Oh, the numbers. Well, according to the law of averages, you only do to get back about 50 cents of each dollar you play. That's too easy for the banker. I'll play a little stud or shoot a little crap, but no policy or number. <laughs> well, so long, Miss Moore. Some other time, maybe. Yeah, good time. morning. All right, goodbye. <laughs> Victory, four, five, six, seven. What's going on around here? What's up? Let me out of here. Where's the key? Why should I know? Probably got lost. She's lying. Let me out of here. Tell her to throw the key away. It's a lie. I don't know where it is. Of course you don't. After throwing it out of the window. They've been fighting over it. You should fire him right away from here. Get rid of him. How can I help it? They just wanted to fight, that's all. If he gets rid of you, we'd soon get rid of them. You no good piece of flight. I never seen a digger as good as you was any good no way. 
Oh, come on, Mom, do something. I'll send to Harry later. Uh, try your pass here. It might open it. Get busy before that gal in there passes out. Oh, dear, darling, look at here. No, come on, Mom. No, you can't do that. You ought to be too. Don't be no empty, Mom. Hey, Well, I guess I'll take a shine. Okay, boss. Yes, sir. Right over here. Yes, sir. Okay. Well, all right, sir. my room and relax for a little while. Then I'm going downtown and do some shopping. In the meantime, I'm expecting an important phone call. Be sure and call me when it comes through. Uh, there has been several calls for you since he went out from Mr. Leroy. He says for you to call him quickly to come back. Yeah, well, when he calls, I'm still out. Do you understand? Yes. She was gorgeous. Rather than blind. Gee, you got it bad. I wonder who that dame is anyhow. Describe her. She came into the barber shop while I was getting my shoes shined. To describe her in the language of the poet, she was not tall and still not short. Now what's she's stout, not Hello, Leroy. Hello, Leroy. Oh, hello, Mr. Leroy. 1.30, eh? A nice welcome home I'm getting. 1.30. Look what time it really is. 5 o'clock, you see it. Did she drive up in a big car? That's right, she did that in a big swell road, sir. Sure, I know who you're talking about now. Boy, no wonder you were thrilled. Why, that's Dinah Jackson. <coughs> the swellest boy on the south side. Well, I thought you'd heard of her. Well, how's that? Why should I have heard of her? Well, uh, you Leroy Frank. Well, yes, but what's that got to do with her? Why, she's, uh, uh on. Oh, oh, that's her. You started to tell me something. Come on, let's have it. Come on, put on your coat. Let's go down to Leroy's room and see what he's doing. Mm, well, all right. Well, I'll wash my hands. Okay. I guess I'll have to be going. Going? Well, I'll have to say. What about uh, all you know? No. No, how about something, Leroy? The money. The money. Oh, the money. I'm sorry, Leroy. I couldn't do it. Listen, Dinah. 
something's come over you. Yes, yeah, since we talked this morning. Now, you're lying about the dough. You could get it all right. Maybe you did get it. But that ain't here or there. Come on, fess up. Tell me what's happened. Oh, I'm not for intruding like this. Uh, we didn't know you had company. Uh, Miss Jackson, you Miss Brown. You're the beautiful lady I saw in the barber shop this morning. I've been telling Mr. Sharkey my impressions regarding you. I'm awfully glad to meet you. Well, I'm pleased to meet you too, Mr. Brunson. Come to think of it, I think I do remember having seen you in the barber shop. Well, now that I have met you, I shall insist upon knowing more of you. Will you permit me to? Oh, really? This is rather sudden. Uh, I was just getting ready to leave. I couldn't say just now. Well, I was about to leave also. I'm a stranger here in Chicago, here for a short vacation. If nobody objects, why, well, I'd like to see you home. That is, if you're headed that way. I'm sure Mr. Giles won't mind. Hey, Leroy, he's my good friend, you know. Oh, is that so? Why, Leroy, you didn't tell me about Mr. Preston. I'm surprised. Well, uh, I was going to, but... Uh, uh, I'll accept no apologies. I'm very angry. Uh, now, for your selfishness, you may take me to my car. And, uh, drive me home. Well, Mr. Dockery and Mr. Dial, we'll be seeing you. Come on. Ah, 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 Thank you. 
I only persuade him to come to Chicago for two weeks. He's been here a month now, blowing his money in like a drunken sailor. And ain't even thinking about leaving. To hear you talk, one would think you were very charitable. The truth is that you brought us here to skin him like you did school all last week. And now he isn't playing your game any longer. And you're disappointed in sore and can't help you. Well, since you put it that way, what are we going to do about it? We? You mean, what are you going to do about it? As for me, I'm doing very well. What I really meant was, what are you going to do when he finds out who you really are? He thinks you're a swell this now, but he doesn't know you yet. But he'll find out soon enough, so I'm going to make it my business to let him know. Then what are you going to do? Well, I'll cross that bridge when I get to it. <laughs> you don't like the way what I said sound, do you? Well, get off your high horse a minute and listen to reason. For three years, you and I have been sweet with each other. Well, it ain't that way any longer, and I won't stand for it. I don't intend to let the strong man to replace me. I don't intend to. You cheap parasite talking to me like that. I admit that I've been supporting you for the past three years, but I'm through now. On your way, cool papa. There's the door. Spread. <laughs> Quite dramatic. I'll get out, but not until you hand over some dough. Some real dough. And if I don't? Well, if Sam should find out what's going on, your eyes just getting over Buffy gave you about me. Now, if somebody should tell him that you're indulging another flame and... Why, you dirty, cowardly rat. You wouldn't tell Sam. You haven't got the nerve to even talk to him. I'll give you some money, but it's not to keep your mouth. It's because I want to rid myself of a blood-sucking leech like you. Pardon, boss, but ain't you forgot something? Why, no, Snitchy. I haven't forgotten anything. Why? Oh, honest, Snitchy, I did forget. Yeah. Thank you, boss. It wasn't the money for the sign I was thinking about. It's a message I have for it. A message for me? That's interesting. Okay, let's have it. Oh, hello, Paul, darling. Oh, sweet. You talk like you're angry. I oh, don't be a boy like that. I won't love you. Oh, Bill, not about the other night. Forget it. Listen, sweetheart, you want to see me real bad? All right. Park yourself at the corner of 47 and the South Parkway, and I'll be there in just a minute. My boy is fall down. Bye. Bye. <laughs> well, he's throwing all his money in at the Red Louis. And I'm Dinah. We ain't getting a dime on it. But we gotta do something. You sure said it, boy. Let's sit down over here and talk it over. Around like this. You don't see nobody around. Who you telling? Next time I catch you loafing ten of the tippers on my time, I'm gonna fire you all. You get that? Oh. Damn. Oh, no, no, 
job. Oh, what's the matter? I'm all right. You've had enough, honey. Uh, I don't have, I want to have a good time. It's warm in here, honey. Let's go for a little spin. Oh. Wait a minute, Barbara. Say, yeah. Look like Donna's falling into Leroy's crib. That's Donna, you know. Yeah, but what about Leroy? What the joke's on him? Oh, cool. Oh, oh. The guy that you call was shaking down. Now I'm down in the floor for Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Feel better? Was I? Do? Oh, I say so. You told me last night that you loved me. Don't you tell me again, Paul. I love to hear it. What you told me? What's the use? Oh, but that doesn't stop me from loving you. Does it stop you from loving me? Mm, I'm willing to go on if you'll find some way to marry me. This is so sweet, just as it is. Won't you please stop asking me to do something that I can't do? And love me just like this. I love you always, Paul. But I don't want to go on loving a woman who can't be mine in marriage. All mine. I want no divided love. Move over. Mad about you. Mm. How's my sweet man this morning? Pepe, don't I look it? I say, are we going to the matinee? Why, I. I what? Well, to be perfectly frank with you, Dana, I'm but. Oh. <laughs> Don't let a little thing like that worry you. Here, take that. Oh, I, I can't accept it. Thank you very much, but I can't take your money. Oh, don't be silly. Go ahead and take the money. Call it a loan if you like. Well, will you look at that? He's offering him money and he won't even take it. <laughs> go on, Ed. He don't know any better. Well, I never. Oh, I guess I'm a chump, all right, but I haven't sunk that low yet to accept money from a woman. Well, what about the show? I want to see it. Yes, I want to go, too, but I can't accept your money. You're welcome to it. You can accept it as a loan. I'll pay you that, if you want to. No, I'll manage somehow. Well, what shall I do? Will you call me? Yes, I'll call you. All right, darling, and remember, we can still be sure. Three dollars all you can let me have on it. I'm sorry, miss, but that is all. Oh, very well. Buy a ticket for three dollars. What's the name? Evelyn Martin. And the address? <laughs> How much do you want? Three notes. Okay. Uh, Paul Bronson, 4533 St. Lawrence. Pardon me. I don't want to appear familiar, but it seems I've seen you before somewhere. At Benton University. I remember you now. Yes, I remember you too now. You didn't come back. No. All right. Jazz and Mr. Shelby. Now I wonder what they want. All right, show them in. Who are you looking for? Uh, Bronson. Isn't he here? Why ask me that? Why should he be here? Oh, we didn't mean anything. Uh, we just happened to be in the barber shop when you drove up. And couldn't help over here in your conversation with him. So, figure it's about time you were back and wanting to see him, we came here. Oh, yeah? 
Well, come over here and sit down. You're lying, of course, but what happened? I haven't seen Bessie since I left you in front of the barber shop. You two know something. What is it? Well, it's like this, Dine. We saw him go in a pawn shop and come out a little later with that girl that's trying to run a beauty parlor on 47th Street. Yeah. And, uh... What's there? Why, they went to the college inn, had lunch, and took her home. Why, the devil, devil cross it. So that's why he didn't come and take me to the matinee. Pretending to be crazy about me and running around with some chippy all the same time. He'll find out he can't play around with me and get away with it. She had good and sore. And I'm ready to do my worst and believe me, the dirty is better. See, I'll ruin him, the skunk. Now, uh, we have a nice plan, Diana. And if you back us up, why, I'll explain it to you. All I want to do is take him to the cleaners. Excuse me. Now that that's all set, let's have a little drink and lay our plans. <laughs> Lucy, bring us yeah. a drink. Now, you two wait here. I want to see him alone first. I'll be back in a minute. Hello, Diana. Sorry to disturb you, but can I come in? Why, sure. Come right in. Thanks. Won't you sit down? Oh, no, dear. You go right back to bed. I'm only going to be here for a few minutes. I can talk to you from here. All right. Afternoon, Paul. You might have called me up. Yes, it was, and I should. Oh, I know, but uh, I suppose you were disappointed and you didn't get the money, and so with all your pride, you just came here and went to get. That's what happened, isn't it, Paul? In a way, yes. Yes, I know I can always trust you. Well, how about tomorrow? I want you to have dinner with me, and after that, we'll go to the picture. But, Dana, I. Tomorrow's the last year, you know. I'm sorry, Diana. I won't be able to then either. The fact is, I've decided to go home. Go home and leave me? Why, Paul? No, I feel I should go home. I've been here too long. Well, may it remind me, all that there is left for me to do is drive you to the station, see you off. Poor dear, I'm afraid that you're sick and won't admit it. No, no, Dan, I'm not ill. I'm just sick and tired of the way I've been carrying on, that's all. And so, uh, you decided to go back home? Oh, I'm going back home, all right. Just for time I can't say now. I'm afraid to say. Dear, I'm all upset over your plans. I think you admit I've been very foolish. Yes, you've been digging to accept, and I've tried to restrain you, haven't I? I'm not putting any of the things I've done at your feet. I accept full responsibility. Well, somehow I feel that you don't love me as much as you used to. And you're going home to get away from me. No, that's not so. And it hurts me, Paul. It's breaking my heart. I don't take it so seriously, Dinah. I was going to get in touch with you and tell you everything before I left.
mad with him I could plug him trying to play with me like that. But believe me, I'm ready to do my work. And the dirtier the better. Uh, you understand. Wait until he's sound asleep. Oh, we understand. Well, you'll be careful, won't you? Right. Uh, in the meantime, Dad, uh, you better let me hold a little something. You know, you ain't been very nice to me since you met this bird. Uh, I can get along with about 20. Yeah, and you can also get along with others. When you've done your job, call me up. Well, he was broke. He tried to borrow money from me yesterday. Yeah, me too. See that? Leave him alone. He'll keep it off for a while. Yeah, but there's something funny about this. I ain't never seen him drunk before. And if he was broke, how come his father could burn out not like this? Looks like somebody done who do them up. Looks mighty funny to me. Must have on his own. It's the only he hasn't croaked. There's no lady. He's coming back. It was Miss Diamond. She asked me about it, and I told her what had happened. She said it should be right over. Mm-hmm. 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 Why, uh, he, uh... Huh? Huh? He ought to have a doctor. I don't want him dying on my hands. He ought to have a doctor. Yes, he should have a doctor. Mm. Oh, he's moving. He's moving. Well, uh, probably we better leave him alone for a little while. If he doesn't come through in two minutes, we'll call our doctor. Well, what's the matter with him? Well, that's what I want to idiot. You gave him enough to kill a horse and all to steal his little money. Why, well, he, he gave it to him. Yeah, but he bought Oh, you're both it. dumb fools. Now, we've got to fix this thing so that there won't be a doctor to go filing a report. We'll all go to jail.
in his eyes. Come on, you all. Come on. Maybe it's my talk. Tell us who robbed it. Well, that's funny. When I left a few minutes ago, he was awake. Well, I'm sure he'll be all right. What he needs is quiet. Why, I'll go away. I've got to run home for a little while. And you call me just as soon as he comes to. Roy's got my number. You know where to find me. Is this your card? It is? Why? Do you happen to know Mr. Paul Brunson? I've met him. What about it? Just this. I want you to see no more of him. Do you understand? No, I do not. Well, I'll explain. Please do. It just happens to be my personal property. And I'll stand for no more for an end. Get back, sister, and get it straight. And then what's wrong now? It was Dana. She said she'd be here to fix for her. Why in the hell didn't you tell her you wasn't able to go? Well, she asked me how I was, and I said fine. She said good, and before I said anything else, she hung up on me. He went back to bed. He didn't feel well. The devil he did. Very well. I'll go to his Now, wait a minute, Dan. Listen, I'm... darn it. Leave me alone. I'm going to it. Where's the matter? I don't know, sir. She went out. Oh, hell. Gone again. You blundering idiot. You gave him enough to kill a horse. And all the steal for his own money. Where's what? You know what I mean. The money. The money. It's full of fat, I hate myself for having food with you two. But if you don't hand over the money when he does wake up, I'm going to tell somebody and... No, no, no. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Is that a All right, lay it here. All of it. And I know how much you have. Where are you going? <laughs> to the Red Lily. <laughs> wait a minute, baby. I'm going with you. i got to talk. Now, wait a minute. You wait, Leroy. Right? Reported one Leroy died three years and went down Y room to meet him a few minutes ago. Hey, where are you going? I'm not seeing my report yet. I'm going outside to get some air. I'm too mad to listen to more. the college tonight. I wonder what's the matter. Yeah, I think she was sick going on with the The way Big Sam is acting, I think it's bad news. That is something like that. Come on, Big Sam. Come on,
Give me a one, two, three. Okay, boss. Well, you promised the money when the job was done. Now, what about I've it? I've given you money, plenty of money for years. Now, you wait until I can work stamps for something. Please. I don't want no stolen. I'm stolen. I'm telling you for the last time to get a hundred bucks off that dumb fat ass stamp by midnight or I'll do what? So, you've been taking care of this thing with my money, eh? I've been smelling a rat for a long time. But I didn't want to believe that a gal of mine would be that cheap. But too so low. Giving my money to something like you, you cheap yellow leaf. Too too big. But you ain't fit to die, so I'm just <laughs> Way, woman, before oh, I... I know. I got something to do. I admit that I've disappointed you. That I used to love you. That's all I'm... Shut up, you dirty lying sheep. You are worse than he is, and I ought to kill you both. But I... I'm going to do Remember, Dinah? That you signed an agreement when you came with me. Whereby, if I ever caught you messing around, you automatically forfeited everything I ever gave you. Including the house, money, and, uh... <laughs> Sure. I'm ordering all your bank balances canceled. All of your charge accounts closed. I'm putting you out of the house. Since you've been taking such good care of him, I'm giving you a chance to reciprocate now. Get what I mean? Now take that crawling leash out of here and let him take care of you from now on. So I'm through, do you hear? Through. Oh, no, no. 
I just got here. I found it. There, just like that. I couldn't have done it. I didn't do it, Dan. I swear I did. Oh, it was terrible. Horrible. I had been drugged and robbed. I was still bewildered and weak from the effects. But I have a vague recollection of everything that happened, and I didn't kill Sam Brown. I hardly knew the man. I had no motive. Oh, well, I saw you standing over him with a gun in your hand. I know you did, but I had just picked it up. I was... I'm trying my case before you now, Dinah. Surely you don't believe I did it. Surely you of all people. Oh, dear, dear, dear. You're weak and upset and all that kind of... You can trust me, darling. I'll say nothing about it. But I want to hear you say that you don't believe I did it. Merciful heavens, I haven't sunk that low to shoot a man down I hardly know and in cold blood. Take it easy, Paul. The law will be coming here and they mustn't see or talk to you. You can trust Dinah, dear. I love you, Paul, and I will protect you. Can you recall anyone who might have uh, had a grudge against your husband uh, or a motive to kill him? No, I can't recall such a thing. You know, this is a serious case, and I might have to call on you again very soon. Yes, I understand. If you call on me at any time, I'll give you my full cooperation. I thank you very much. Well, good day. Raymond Collins, the rope dancer. Well and strong again. I secured a job for you. Oh, yes? 
Yes, sir. <laughs> that is the cabaret. Oh, indeed. Thanks. Oh, when a woman loves a man, she's always first in her thoughts. How about a little spin in the country? You haven't been for a ride since you got back. Okay, then. Do you know why I brought you here to Kingsford? It was here that you first told me that you loved me. Why don't you tell me again, Paul? Oh, I don't know, sir. It was here that you first asked me to marry you. Why don't you ask me again? Uh, Diana. Yes, Paul? There's a tremendous load on my mind. I'm not my real self any longer. Well, you do seem peculiar. It's about saying. Murdered in cold blood and for me left the field with I might have committed the terrible cowardly deed. Oh, Sam is dead. He's yes, dead, but not forgotten. Why, I don't understand it. You told me that night. It's been like a nightmare on my mind ever since. That I killed Sam. You haven't told me that I didn't. Until Sam's murder is cleared up, I'm not free. And I don't wish to marry you under such circumstances. about you after she called on me. You mean a woman called Dinah? She called on you? About what? Me. Oh. Oh, Dinah, you surprised me. Will you meet Miss? We've met already. Come on. Well, what do you... I said, come on. Please excuse me for a few minutes. Wait until I get my hat. Never mind about your hat. Come on, now. I'm sorry, but I just don't fit into your scheme of things. And this last wrinkle, it's too much. Oh, I'm sorry that I embarrassed you, but I'm a jealous woman. Yes, I know you are, but there are other things that keep us at constant loggerheads. My work at the cab for instance. Yeah? <laughs> yes, I know. It's obvious that my work there doesn't please you. 
I'm afraid I just don't fit into the groove. You could, if you weren't so confounded sentimental. I can't seem to teach you that you can't have any scruples in this kind of business. Mm, I can't condone dishonesty. Uh, what is that way? Oh, I get so tired of hearing you talk about being honest and not cheating and playing square and how you are raised. You make me sick. Yes, I know I do. And that's why I feel that you and I should go our separate ways. Oh, what are you talking about? This, Dinah. I'm not happy. In some strange way, oh, I don't know what it is. I'm not free. There's something hanging over me. Go on. I'm sorry to say this, but I believe you know who killed Sam. And? You know it wasn't me. Well? That's all. So do your worst. I'm leaving you. Oh, don't go, Paul. I love you. I can't live without you. You insist that you love me. With all my heart, Paul. And that you want to see me happy. Of course. Then who killed Sam Brown? Speak. Answer me. Sam, Sam is dead and buried. You, you and I, we live. Let's love for now. Get away from me. Crying about love. You, you never loved any man you never were. You know I didn't kill Sam Brown. But you know who did. Yet you hold his murder as a club over my head. You've held it there ever since. You forced me to do your bidding. Come when you want me to. Go when you want me to. And yet you cry about it. Ah, a woman like you would be capable of such a thing. Wait, now I'll tell you a few things. You took my son away from me. It was you who killed him. I don't believe that. Ah, you know you did. Liar. Listen, Paul Bunker. However you might feel about it, you're staying with me now. Not more. You understand? Whether I want to or not. Whether you want to or not. And if I insist on going. <laughs> Just tell the police who killed Sam Brown. No, no, you're not going to tell the police who killed Sam Brown. You're merely going to tell them that I do. All right. Spill your hatred. Tell them I did. I don't care what you do from now on, Anna Jackson. I'd rather rot in jail than endure your tyranny longer. Go on. Tell them I did it. But I'm through with you, do you hear? Through with you, and I'm free at last! I'll make him pay for this. I'll send him over to the police. I'll be a bird as they have left me. Love a mercy. Well, I'll make him pay for this. I'll make him pay. Make him pay for what, Miss Brown? For killing Sam. Mr. Paul ain't killing. Oh, yes, he did. And I'm going to call the police. Don't do that, Miss Brown. You're just mad and all upset now. But you'll get over there after a while. Wait now. Don't do nothing. Get out of my way. I'm going to call the police. Listen here, Donna Jackson. Well, that's what you is to me from now on. Well, of all the dirt, you call me what you like. But I'm going to talk to you before you make a fool of yourself if I have to knock you down to do it. Why, you? Who can play that game? I won't stand for it. You is wrecked that boy's life. That fine young man until you got a hold of him. And now because he refused to stand for it any longer, you want to throw him in the jail to rot and stink, you. You. You know, and I know that he didn't kill Mr. Sam. And I know that you know who did. It's that stuff you've been taking that's got you carrying on like this, and now it's done got you at last. Ha, ha, ha. <laughs> Go ahead, evil woman. But if you call the police and tell them that night, it will be the end of you. The law don't like ugly, and he going to punish you, sure. You can't get away with it. Because I'll go on the stand. I'll tell him what kind of woman you is. I'll tell him that he didn't do it. I'll tell him how you have lived and that you is a... <laughs> no. 
Hello. 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 All the while with your soul in pawn. Oh, don't cry, baby. Everything will be all right. You know who killed Sam Brown? You know who killed Sam Brown? I know who killed Sam Brown. Hello? Give me the police station. 
put him somewhere on. Me know all about that. Holy Prince and not him. He know nothing about that. Me know all about. I tell you all about that. What's your name? King Lee. Where do you work? Uh, this is working Lily. And and they live there too. I see some brown get here. So I so I work in Red Lily. And the uh, this I drinking some. I like in my whiskey. Now Mr. P, he has been cooking there. He gets me drunk twice and three times. He say he find me back to China. Kick me again. So the spray drink so much then. All the time. Me still like in my whiskey. So on the night of the murder, I slip in the office. Kick me. This way, it is happening. Mr. Leroy, come him. Well, all right, Sing Lee. Okay. Hello, Big Chief. Hello there. Going to bring somebody else back? Yep, they run away, but I bring them back. <laughs> Why do this time, Chief? Let me see. Um, uh... Uh, Dixie Fly to Birmingham. What is? That's my home. <laughs> Glad they me you was going after. <laughs> Train, boss. Uh, the ranger over the Santa Fe to local Oklahoma. Yes, sir. Uh, we, we what, boss? Oh, just the ranger, Porter, the ranger. Yes, Come on, sir. Boss. 